Unfortunately, IT is often the last to know when there's a problem with the network. In fact, often it's the end users themselves experiencing a problem who alert the help desk. A proactive IT department needs to be able to detect incidents as they happen and ideally anticipate a potential issue before it happens. And the result of that kind of proactive network monitoring is a reduced time to resolution, an improvement to overall uptime, and often the ability to solve a smaller problem before it turns into a catastrophe. Riverbed's network visibility portfolio brings together sophisticated monitoring, alerting, and troubleshooting abilities into one solution. Portal, NetIM, and NetProfiler integrate together seamlessly to bring you a robust solution that can detect and alert on very specific network anomalies and application performance issues. NetIM is focused on the actual network infrastructure itself. So in other words, what's going on with our routers, switches, firewalls, the infrastructure that underpins our applications. With NetIM, we can monitor device health and we can drill down into interface errors, packet drops, and that sort of thing. NetIM can monitor and alert us on CPU utilization, link utilization, packet discards, and even build for us rich visualizations of our network topology to help us understand the path an application takes through the network. NetProfiler is a very powerful monitoring platform that we use to analyze application flows. With NetProfiler, we have a full fidelity traffic monitoring solution that leverages analytics to baseline traffic patterns and behaviors and alert us on changes that could affect application performance. And Portal is the dashboard that brings it all together in one place. Portal integrates network and application insights into one place by aggregating telemetry from all of our tools. With Portal, we get a centralized, holistic view for alerting, monitoring, and troubleshooting our applications and the networks that they rely on. Let's walk through a scenario in which end users in a branch office are experiencing just an overall slowness when they use the network, but slowness especially when they access resources outside the branch, such as in the corporate data center, in the cloud, or the public internet in general. So we're here in our demo environment, but we can see our default dashboards here toward the top. Now, I suspect this could be a local router or maybe a switch problem since the problem is isolated to one branch only. So what I'll do is start at the edge of the branch network and work my way in. I'll start off by scrolling down here and opening our routers dashboard, which is information that we're collecting from NetIM. Now we have a dashboard of some quick device information. In this case, our branch office routers. You can see here, we get some great information like device health, interface utilization, which we could see already doesn't look very good. We could see interface statistics. Up here, we have memory utilization, and we even have some metrics for ping round trip times. So let's go down here to the interface utilization since it's in red and, and look into it a little bit further. Now we could see that we have an interface on the router that's over 90% utilized. And if we hover over the companion line graph here, we can see that it's the serial one interface, which is our WAN interface. Now this is inbound utilization. And if we look here at the chart below, we can see that outbound is just about the same. So far, we can see that utilization of the WAN interface on the Bethesda router is dangerously high. Let's click on the router and drill down into some deeper information. And this is an important feature of Portal. We aggregate all the telemetry here in Portal, but we can always drill down into anything if we need to. So I want to take a look at that Serial 1 interface more. So let's select Launch, and then Launch Interface Details. Now notice up here at the URL, we're actually in NetIM now, since that's the tool under the hood that's feeding Portal our infrastructure information. The integration among our visibility tools, especially when using Portal, is virtually seamless. So let's pause for just a moment to discuss NetIM a little bit more in depth. NetIM collects and alerts on device information from our network devices like routers and switches, and it'll do that in several ways. It collects data using traditional SNMP, the device CLI, so the command line, WMI, and network device APIs. What we get is a complete presentation of what's going on with our network infrastructure. And that includes device status, interface statistics, utilization information, our top applications and hosts, IP conversations. 
and really everything we need to really understand what's going on with the underlying infrastructure that we use to deliver services to the end user. So we start off with our device dashboard, and since we launched interface details, we're looking specifically at the Serial 1 interface of our Bethesda branch router. Notice that we have some alerts here telling us something is wrong at the interface level. We have a health warning, so let's click on that. And we can see we have a critical level alert that the incoming and outgoing interface utilization is greater than 90%. Take a look at one of our visualizations here. This chart right here in the middle gives us a nice image of the interface utilization activity over the last hour or so. The chart summary, which we can see by clicking the little chart icon here, gives us the exact detail information too. And we can confirm again that our average utilization stays hovering just over 90%. We can look at more historical information right here on the charts just a little lower on the page. And we can also see that the physical interface, the actual physical interface on the router hasn't experienced any issues. So it's not the physical interface that's broken. We just have way too much traffic going over the link than it can handle. NetIM does give us a little insight into our hosts and applications. So if we scroll down just a bit more, here we can see our top applications, our top hosts, and our top host pairs. So far, it looks like SCCM is taking up the vast majority of the link bandwidth. And here we can see that it's a conversation between these two hosts on the network. To get a view of the entire router, we can click on the router name in the upper left, which opens up the device dashboard. We get some great information about all the interfaces, and over here on the right, we can see the other active interface on the router is doing just fine. We can also see device metrics like CPU utilization and memory utilization, and we even get a quick view of the router's neighbors. We're looking at the At A Glance tab, which is the device overview but we can also look at other tabs like Browse, Alerts, Metrics. Metrics is actually really cool because we can click the drop down here and immediately drill down into any device metric we want. So if we wanna see a breakdown of CPU utilization, we select that and get a nice chart we can scroll through and examine. Back up to the tabs here, when we select collected files, we can choose from file type and get that file information to view. We're looking at the device configuration here, but we can also look at, let's say, the ARC table. We select that and get the device readout right here. Now, that's convenient for sure, but we can also select a specific date from the history dropdown here and take a look at that. We can look at the ARP table from some day in the past, and this is really helpful for troubleshooting. We can get live access to the device CLI from the next tab where we can send commands to the device if we want to, and the backplane tab gives us a topology visualization of our physical and logical links. So now I wanna focus on that specific traffic. It looks like SCCM traffic is the problem, and I wanna dig into that a little bit more. NetIM gets us a little of that info, but to dig into those flows in depth, those application flows, we're gonna use NetProfiler. NetProfiler analyzes and reports on flow information that it gathers from the flow gateway, which is a device dedicated to collecting flow information from the entire network. NetProfiler then gives us the reporting, analysis, and organization of that data so we can visualize what's going on with application traffic. So what we'll do is simply click on the little hamburger menu next to our router name and select Launch External Link. We're gonna look at device information since we're looking at our device interface, so I'll select that. Now notice that we're looking at Net Profiler under the hood. All our tools work together to provide that high level picture of the network, but also the ability to drill down into anything, drill down into a very granular level, both in real time and historically. So as we scroll down the screen, we can start to see flow information related to our specific router. And I'll keep going all the way until I get to applications. The graph here shows us in blue what the bulk of the traffic is, and by looking at the legend on the bottom or by hovering over the graph, 
we could see the application is SCCM using TCP port 446. But what we see here is a sustained, very high volume of SCCM traffic between the SCCM server and just one computer in Bethesda, and that isn't normal. So now we're able to see pretty clearly that there's some problem here with our SCCM server communication with a single host at our branch office. And at this point, we'd contact our server team or endpoint management team, whoever manages pushing updates to computers with SCCM. And after changing some rules in the SCCM server, we eliminate the huge amount of unnecessary traffic to that host and free up bandwidth on our serial one interface. And the result for our end users is that the network isn't slow anymore. In this demo, we used Portal, NetIM, and NetProfiler together to identify a network anomaly and correlate it with a specific application and the specific devices that were causing the issue. Riverbed's network visibility portfolio is a collection of very powerful tools that integrate together seamlessly to cover all the bases of network and application performance monitoring. With our solution, you get unified monitoring, alerting, and troubleshooting all under one banner. 